In this third video, we are going to talk about doors, and we're going to start off with exterior. So if you go to your tools palette, we were on walls. Next one down is your doors. And we have a whole bunch of different doors. We got um, some, if it doesn't say interior, they are interior. If it says exterior, then you know those are your exterior doors. So right away you notice we have a double hinged exterior and we have a single hinged exterior. So single doors versus like a double French door. Um, so for this scenario right here, my front door is a single hinged exterior. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on single hinged exterior. And add that. You're going to want to go ahead and click on the properties palette. Um, if you did want to, you're able to adjust the width and the height of the door, but we're going to leave it as 3 foot and 7 foot because that's your standard um, door size. Uh, but the part that we do want to change is the threshold height. So if you click on that, we're going to change that to 12 inches. And I'll explain what that means in a second. Threshold is pretty much the bottom of your door down there. And I'll explain um, why we're changing that in a second, but change that to 12. And that is going to be uh, pretty much for all your doors. So I didn't hit enter after that. And we've now gone ahead and set that up. And you can go ahead and click on the wall that you want to add it in. So I left click. Um, by simply moving your mouse up or down can adjust which way it's swinging. And then moving left to right, you'll also notice that it is justifying it based off of the walls that I have. Now, the only problem is that I don't have this interior wall in. So I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and add that in for a second because I want this door to be centered between this wall and this wall. I kind of have it a little bit wrong there um, in my drawing. So let me hit escape. I'm going to pause and add those two walls really quick. All right, try this one more time. So I went ahead and I added in this wall and I added in this wall. And now I have an exterior door right here. So again, I'm going tools palette, doors, single, um, single hinged exterior. Go to properties, scroll down, change the threshold to 12 inches, enter, select the wall you want to add the door to. And now if you notice, um, it recognizes the walls to the left and to the right of the door, and it's automatically centering that door right in the middle for me. Um, so that's what I want to do. I'm going to add that in, so I'm going to left click. And then if I had more exterior doors, it will stay in the door um, tool, uh, and you can go ahead and keep adding them, or you could simply hit escape on the keyboard and get out of the tool. Now, if you click on that door, you'll get some different arrows and some different options. You can adjust the swing if you wanted to. I'm sorry, you could flip it to adjust the swing. You can also flip it to go swinging out or swinging in. Um, we want it to swing in. And um, I am going to switch it uh, that way. And then if I hold the shift key and I orbit here and um, we're going to switch out of wireframe for our visual effects and let's try conceptual orbit around here. Um, And the part that I wanted to show you is the threshold. So if you notice, down here on the bottom, this distance from the bottom of the wall up to the bottom of the door is a foot. And the reason we did that is because what we're trying to do is if you look inside the house, um, what we're leaving room for is your floor system that is right, um, at, right here. So you're going to have rooms for some joists, and then some actual, like, let's say, hardwood floors. So that way when you walk into the house, you know, you're walking right into the, uh, right onto the floor system. 
So that's why we adjusted the threshold. And you'll have to do that for all the doors um, inside of your floor plan. You're going to have to make sure that the threshold is adjusted. So what you could do is after you're done doing all your doors, just do a double check. Make sure that everything is a foot off. If it's not, you simply click on the door, go to the properties, and you can adjust the threshold here to a foot or 12 inches to make that adjustment. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to wireframe. And then I'm going to switch back to a top view. And if you haven't saved, please remember to save as often, as often as possible. Don't want you losing your work. So let's talk about interior doors. Um, if you notice, I left these open where my closets were, so I should have closed those. You could simply do that by just clicking on the wall, clicking the arrow and closing that off and then what we'll do is we'll use our closet doors to um, drop that in this one might be an issue I don't know if the intelligent cleanup is going to work on this one but let's try really quick now I'm going to come back to that one in a second but Anywhere you have any closets like here, you know, extend those walls because we, we want all that closed off. So that way we can just simply add in a closet. So I'm looking anywhere that I had some closets. I got to draw a wall here. And I think that's good. Again, the only one I got to go back and fix is this one. I would just draw a line right here and redraw this wall. So I'd end up actually deleting this. Let's go ahead and do it. Line from the drywall, new wall, right there. Justification looks good. Going all the way to here. Fix this one. That. Fix this one. There we go. And then I could add in, uh, oh, I gotta clean this up still. Just gotta be careful with those snaps. Uh, click the wall, intelligent cleanup. Just like that. There we go. Okay. So now let's talk about interior wall or doors. Um, everything is, again, in your doors uh, area here. You're going to use singled hinged for pretty much all of your doors. You got your bifolds for your closet. You got a single bifold maybe for a linen closet. So go ahead and drop those in. Um, oh, I still need to add in a wall here and then a door, which is going to be used for my stairs. Um, so go ahead and add in all your interior doors. And remember that the threshold needs to stay at uh, 12 inches or a foot. Um, in the next video, we'll start talking about windows.